you took math and chemistry. Okay, so it tells us that math is a two credit course. That's for math. And chemistry is a five credit course. Okay, so it's heavily weighted towards okay, this chemistry class. You know that the final mark in math was 80%, and that corresponds to a grade point average of 3.7. Okay, fine. So we know that math is a 3.7. What we do not know, it seems that we do not know the final mark in chemistry. Now this is GPA based and they actually give us the okay, overall GPA of three. So let's take a look how we can break this down. So anytime you're facing a question with grade point averages or grades, I always list for myself you know, all the different courses that are involved. So in this case, it's only math and chemistry. Now it may be more. And then what I need to know, I need to know two things. I need to know how many credits the course was. And in this case, math was two and chemistry was five. And the other thing I need to know is I need to know the grade. Now, because we're dealing with GPAs, I am going to use, okay, so the GPA here, so I know that math was 3.7, but I do not know the chemistry mark. So I don't know that one. I do know that the overall GPA was three. So let's try to see and if we can create an equation out of this. So first I have to define this unknown here. So let, I am looking for the grade. Now it will be as a GPA, you can write GPA, you can write G or even final grade or final mark, okay, and that would, that's fine. So let G be the final grade, okay, so for this, and this is an average question, so in terms of calculating GPAs, there will be division involved, so I'm going to have to divide here. Okay, now I know that overall my division, when I finally compute it, it's going to give me a GPA of three. So now on top, I will go one by one and add the courses. So I will have math, which is two times 3.7 plus the chemistry, which is five times the grade G, which I don't know. At the bottom, don't forget that you have to divide by the total number of credits. And that's your equation. Now, of course, I have to solve this for G. Okay, so let me simplify this a little bit. And I will do so by, so first I notice that I can do this multiplication here. And in the denominator, I can actually do this addition before I do any kind of crazy stuff with solving the equation. So 2 times 3.7 is 7.4, okay, so that will be on top. And in the denominator, I have 2 plus 5, which is just 7. Okay, and on the right-hand side, I'm going to drop those zeros there. So it's just 3. Next step, I have a division. Now, I don't want this 7 roaming around at the bottom. So what I do know is I can get rid of the seven by multiplying both sides by seven. So notice that will cancel that seven off and it will leave me with 7.4 plus 5G equals to 21. And hey, now it's much simpler. So what I can do next is I can shift over the 7.4 to the other side, which is going to give me 5g so that will stay and 21 minus 7.4 so this is what i have so that gives me 5g equals so this will become 13.6 now dividing both sides by 5 i will be able to solve for my overall grade so i have 13.6 divided by 5 and that gives me 2.72. Okay, I will have to round this probably to the, yep, to the 10th, okay, because it's GPAs, and that will be a GPA of 2.7, and that's it.
Okay, so you've solved for this problem. So give it a try on your own. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.